Some heroes' power is strength. Some heroes' powers are mental. Some heroes don't know why they are heroes. Some are just accidental. Once there was a young moose named Bruce. Bruce was a kind, smart, funny, and loving moose. But nobody seemed to notice because all they could notice were his antlers. Everything else about Bruce was fairly normal. He was a little tall for his age, and you could always tell how Bruce felt just by looking at him. Anyway, back to the antlers. <laughs> Poor Bruce. His antlers still had moose moss on them. What? Y you don't know. Well, <laughs> only babies have moose moss on their antlers, and Bruce was definitely not a baby. So he was teased a lot. It was easy to hurt Bruce's feelings, and kids did it quite often. I don't know why. Kids just like that sometimes. Moose Moss, Goose Gas, Bruce has Moose Moss! Moose Moss, Goose Gas, Bruce needs antler floss! He may have all the antlers, but Bruce has baby antlers! <laughs> but Bruce was smart, and he asked someone older and wiser for help. In this case, that someone was the rabbi. The rabbi knew Bruce. He liked Bruce. And because of this, he was pretty sure Bruce could solve this himself. The rabbi said, Bruce, the answer is as plain as the nose on your face. Just look at yourself in the mirror, and you will find the answers to all of your problems. Bruce understood this to mean, The answer is within you. He did not know what to do with this advice. Um, but as I said before, Bruce was smart, and he went with a more practical approach. Since it was the last night of Hanukkah, Bruce offered to clean the wax buildup on everyone's Hanukkah menorah. Maybe the townspeople will like me then, thought our hero. Bruce took the town's menorahs to the beach. With his antlers, he washed the menorahs by pushing them in the sand and the sea. And the wax? It came out, but it was hard work. Bruce felt kind of proud. Bruce felt kind of happy. Bruce felt kind of uh, sleepy. Uh. So he slept. And a few dreams later, he was awakened by a wave. Bruce immediately realized two things. One, the tide had awakened him. Two, the tide took the menorahs away. Oh no! cried Bruce. This is awful. Hanukkah will be ruined. Bruce knew he had to tell the townspeople. But what are the rabbis said? Something about finding the answer in a mirror? Just then, Bruce saw his reflection in a tide pool. It seems the sand in the sea had washed his antlers clean. No more Mr. Moose Moss. Bruce had an idea. All of the townspeople were assembled in the town square, waiting for Bruce. He was late, you see, and it was almost sunset, almost time to light the candles on the menorahs. Hey, what's that? It's a kite! It's a table! No, it's Bruce! With a prayer shawl on his antlers? 
So, Bruce told the townspeople what had happened, and that he was really, really sorry. Everyone was understandably upset, but they were also very curious. Hey, what's with the shawl? Well, said Bruce, I lost all the menorahs but one. And as he pulled the shawl off his antlers, the townspeople gasped. <gasps> there, they saw the most perfectly natural Hanukkah menorah they'd ever seen. Quick, said the rabbi, put some candles on that. And they did. Everyone smiled at Bruce. For the first time, Bruce felt truly honored and special and happy. On that last night of Hanukkah, the whole town was together for the lighting of the candles, sharing one shamus, sharing one Hanukkah menorah. There was singing, <laughs> laughter, and latkes. And even though the tide returned all of the town's menorahs the very next day, the townspeople decided that having Hanukkah together was more important. To this day, Bruce is still their Hanukkah moose. The end. Happy Hanukkah, everybody.